If you are looking for an AI model to generate structured schema, especially in JSON, then maybe have a look at this new model Osmosis structure in just 0.6 billion parameter size. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to install this Osmosis structure model on our local system and we will play around with it by using Olama, which is one of the easiest tools to run large language models locally. This model, Osmosis, is specifically designed for extracting structured information from reasoning traces or natural language text. So what happens is that you define the output structure using pydantic models and the model will format its response accordingly and I will show you shortly. I am going to use this Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. Let me start by creating a virtual environment with Conda. And if you're also looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very, very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. Okay, so it shouldn't take too long. And by the way, if you're not aware of what Olama is, I have done hundreds of videos on Olama. So please check it out. All you need to do in order to install it, click on this download button. And then for Linux, run this command. And for Windows and Mac, download this executable and run it. Okay, so our virtual environment is created. I am cre installing Pydantic and Olama. These are just the SDKs and web packages that is also done. I already have Olama installed as you can see and I am running one model. But we need to download this Osmosis structure model. Now one thing you need to be aware of is that this is a gated model which means that you would need to log into Hugging Face, accept the terms and condition and then you would also need to log in here with your Hugging Face CLI. And for that you would first need to install sorry hugging face hub utility and that is done and next up you would need to log in with cli and for that all you need to do is to run this command hugging face cli login and then you can grab your free read token from hugging face.co and that is what you need to paste here And you can see that I am now logged in. So we are all set to download our model with Olama. And command of doing it is this simple Olama pull osmosis, the repo name and the model's name. And the model is being downloaded. And you can see that the size of model is very, very small, just 1.2 gig. So this command is going to download this model. It, it will verify the checksum. And then we are all, all good to go. If you do Olama list, you can see that we now have our model all up and running. Okay, so if you want to check your GPU consumption, you can see that it is not even at the moment using anything. So you can easily run this model on your CPU. Now, in order to use it, let me show you how you can use it with Olama. So this is a code which uh, I will be using. So all I'm doing here, importing the libraries which we have just installed. Then I have just defined a Pydantic class where I have just given it this reasoning, reasoning trace sample data. We are giving a system prompt. This is a contact and this is a content and this is primarily the chat template. This is a model and then once we call this model on this input, it is going to generate this structured schema. So let me run this code and then we will see what exactly it looks like. So I'm just going to run this app.py. And there you go, it has given us the answer on the basis of all of this. It has solved the equation and then it has given the answer in the proper format what we asked it for. Okay, let's try out another example. So in this new example, I'm just going to give it this new math problem. And then similarly, this is a problem. I'm asking it to solve this. Let's see, I have just given it this uh, multiplication and stuff. And this is a system prompt and again i'm asking it to print me the final answer method and stuff um, steps and let's see if it can do that or not just trying to you know make it more uh, work more 
there you go and you, did you see how quick that was and the uh, final answer is correct yep it is quite good really really happy with the raw json response too so pretty good lightweight but quite fast and the only thing which i could just maybe uh, you know improve in this one is you know the way it has done the braces before but i think if you look at the final answer that is pretty good anyway um, maybe we can improve that thing within this schema which we have defined and it is quite flexible so you just have to make sure that you give this thing um, in a proper way so let's try to alter the code and see if we can do some post processing and this will be a very common occurrence if you are using these small language models where they work perfectly well they extract the data but when it comes to formatting it they struggle so now you see in this response the model is still working but it has overly complicated the stuff so for that as i said earlier if i just scroll you down you see i am just after the model has given me the response here i'm just trying to do some uh, post processing which i hope i won't have to do when i'm using the model because i would expect it to not only just work for simple examples but also for complicated ones like this so let's run it again let's see if it is able to okay so now if you look here this one is still slightly garbled so let me make a bit more post processing okay and there you go so this time it has worked properly what we were expecting now the thing is that um, uh, the model looks good good it works what they say given its size but the problem is that we have to do a lot of post processing in order to make it uh, work properly so the issue here is that that post processing would have to be quite use case specific because for me a model like this would be really suited for creating a student model from a teacher model especially when it comes to reasoning uh, traces so for example if we have some huge uh, 600 plus uh, parameter billion 600 billion plus parameter like deep seek we want to create a small student model we will generate the reasoning traces from that big model and then maybe we will just extract some data as per our use case and fine-tune our student model in that case a model like this could be really useful all running local with olama and we would just create it without any cost but if we have to do a lot of post processing like this that would really kill the purpose we would have to be you know quite confident that okay whatever pydentic class we have defined whatever post processing stuff we have defined uh, are solid and then for that we would need to do the testing so that is the downside but other than that i think extraction wise what model says it is doing it is just not uh, properly you know formatting it in the uh, way we want so it is all over the place and that is where post processing is needed so that's it that is my um, opinion but i'm very keen to know your thoughts as they're always insightful if you like the content please like the video if you haven't already subscribed please do so and share it as it helps a lot thank you for watching